Want to know what a real man would tell their lady about love and life? You're in the right place. This is Hello Ladies with Rom Wills. Rom Wills is an author, speaker, and proud father. Grab some wine, sit back, and enjoy. Hello, ladies. Welcome to my spot. The best man is usually right in front of you. You know what? And I've had several, even before I even got into uh, talking about relationships, even before it, even before I started formally writing, I, you know, I had a lot of, I've had a lot of uh, female, legitimate female friends, legitimate. A lot of guys don't deal with them like that, but I grew up with mostly women in my family, so, you know. Thankfully, it switched around, but, you know, got mostly boys and the younger generation, but uh, it's mostly female. So I could deal with women on a long term basis without trying to have sex with them, you know. So that's no big deal. That was no big deal. But one of the things I, they would tell me, they would be honest about what they wanted in a man. And I, I would tell them the same thing every single time. I said, usually the best man for you is right in front of you. Now, ladies, I understand about, you know, you might have a good friend, male friend, but I don't know, for whatever reason, he don't turn you on sexually. And I'm going to tell you what, even with that, he ain't always that he got any issues because a lot of times that male friend can get other women, even with your support, but he's still a good friend to you. But a lot of times what I found, Talking with women, I mean, we're going back to teenage years. It's usually like some small thing that the dude's not doing or some attitude or something. Because let's be real, when y'all looking at guys, we know, yeah, y'all checking out looks, but then y'all also checking out certain attitudes. And then it depends on where you living at. Because if the dude doesn't come off as the cool dude, you know, the popular dude, y'all might not want to deal with him. Or if you like him, but your girlfriends are like, ooh, he's a nerd or something like that, right? But if like let's do you let's use that example of him being a nerd or he ain't the cool guy or something. Thing is, y'all get along anyway. You can still be cool with him. You probably talk with him all the time, and he probably accepts your nerdiness. Oh yeah, ladies, I know some of y'all on that nerdy thing. Or of course there's some uh, guys who are actually nerds who feel like uh they don't want to deal with that, or y'all not really nurse, I'll say awkward girls, right? And here's the thing. Here, here's the thing. That guy is the best for you. Think about something. Sex. I'm, I understand he might not turn you on sexually, but let's be real about sex appeal. Is that always the physical thing? Despite with some guy, you got a bunch of guys, they, you know, call themselves black pill. They think it's purely a physical thing, but I already know what y'all is a physical thing, but it's also an emotional thing. And it's also whatever culture you're in or subculture, social class, religion. There's a whole bunch of factors in there. And he might just be lacking somewhat, you know, maybe y'all come from different social classes. Maybe y'all in different denominations in whatever religious path that you follow. Or something. It's a bunch of artificial stuff, right? But he still, y'all still click personality-wise. You know, enough to at least be friendly with each other, to laugh with each other, right? And I'm going to get into that sex thing in a bit. Um, that's the best man for you. Because think about it, if you're in a relationship, it got to be more than just the sex, it got to be more than just the sex. Now, yeah, that's still important. Yeah, you still need to be turned on by him, and maybe you need to do some work. But then a lot of times it's still an artificial thing. It's some artificial, it's some small thing, right? And, you know, like I said, sometimes it could be the physicality. If it's the physicality, okay, I'll give you that one. i give you that one. But a lot of times, I, and I've talked to the women. They've told me. They say, oh, no, he's actually attractive. And other women like him. Shoot, he could be a Mr. Goodbar to every other woman. But it's like some little stuff he ain't doing. Like, this could be a psychological stuff. Like, I'm, I'm going to share something, right? I knew this woman. She only liked dealing with men who either ignored her, either ignored her blatantly, or 
was dealing with someone that she knew. And the thing is, she was only turned on by that. Now, it didn't have to do with the physicality if she didn't deal with that type of guy. Now, she would meet guys who weren't dealing with other women or, you know, or who were actually paying attention to it, but she wasn't turned on sexually. That's because the trigger there was a psychological thing. Now, she had, let's just say she had some daddy issues. So her thing was always trying to win a, a man over from another woman, right? Now, that same woman, you now she has some, I know personally she has some relationship issues. But if she had dealt with that issue in her, the psychological issue, she'll find there's plenty of guys. There's plenty of guys. So that's something to look into. I probably need to do another podcast on that whole psychological thing because it means a big deal. But... The thing is, that's something that she could have worked on. And other women have had the same thing. That's something that they could work on. So it wasn't even a physical thing keeping them from the best man. You know, it was always some psychological thing, right? Or something. Something that's fixable. Something that could change, you know? Now, if it's purely like his physicality, oh, shoot, even in most cases that can change too. Only purely physical thing, if you got, if you a woman, you definitely want somebody 6'5". There ain't nobody, well, only 3% of the world even at that height, probably even less. You know, it's, I can understand that. And even that, a lot of times, that's a psychological issue. That's a psycho. Let me go on a tangent real quick. A lot of times when women say they want that guy a certain height or something, they hadn't met him yet. They hadn't met him yet. In fact, I need to talk about that on my other channel. So, but anyway, right? Anyway, think about the best man for you. The best man is that one who you're going to click with personality-wise. That person who actually cares about you. Let me be clear, ladies. Most men, most men ain't hanging around a woman unless he has some type of feeling for her, even on a friendship level. Even on a friendship level, somewhere in the back of his mind is, hmm, could I get with it's rare men are totally platonic with a woman. So that means if that guy hanging around, he like you and all of that, even if he keeping it at just a friend thing, trust me, he's having conversations with his boys or something saying, you know what, she cool, you know? In particular, a lot of players actually do that. A lot of players actually do that because they got sex from other women and they actually like a woman that could, they can actually have a regular conversation with, you know? But... You might not want a player, but you still got some good guys. They good for you. I mean, they good. In fact, it's good to the point. Other people will see y'all together and say y'all make a great couple. But like I said, it's that psychological thing uh, or a bunch of other things that are artificial. You know, because ladies, look, and I, I said this on a podcast on my channel a few years ago. I said, I know y'all got to impress those, those peers and stuff, your girlfriend. They got to like him. I told the guys, I said, shoot, you probably, you got to, you got to pull not just that woman, but her friends too. And that's just some real stuff. That's some real stuff. It is what it is, right? But I want y'all to think about that. That best man, the best man is usually right in front of you. Don't lose out. Don't lose out on something good because of that, right? Keep it in mind, no matter what, because you got to think long term. You got to think long term, and most stuff can be corrected. Shoot, it, honestly, even the sexual stuff could be cr corrected. You know, the sexual stuff can be created, corrected. Trust me, I work with, uh, shoot, I know people who teach Tantra. And plus, that guy, if you give him a shot, he might surprise you. <laughs> he might surprise you. So, so even that sex thing is dealing with it. But keep that in mind, though. Keep that in mind. That guy who's right there might be the best for you, all right? And, you know, and you know, in all, in all fairness, I'm working with the men to get them to that point they turn y'all on sexually. So, anyway, that's all I have for now. I'll talk to you later. Peace and blessings.